All right, my name's Houston. I'm back with another pickup. This time, it's a Macari pickup. I got a, I got for twenty dollars. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Let's see what it is. That's my first time checking them out. So let's see what's in here. And these are a restoration project. So these are gonna be beaters. So let's take a look at them. Get that box out of here. So here's what I got. A pair of the yin yang black, the black yin yangs. And the OG highs. And these things are extremely beat, so I think I paid around 20 bucks for them. And what I'm gonna do to these is restore these and then do a custom on them. So yeah, there's plenty of work ahead. And I'm anxious to get started on them, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then uh, I'll be back after the restoration is done. And then that'll be the end of this video. Then I'll do another video where I customize these. And I'm gonna turn it into an entirely different shoe. So let me go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna take a closer look at these. Now I haven't done anything to them. I just took them out the box. I wanna see what kind of damage and where they got to them before I get started. So yeah, the toe boxes are cooked. They look like a balled up piece of paper. There's no shape to them, they're completely flat. Extensive heel drag on it, so I'm gonna have to take care of that. Needs new paint all around, so everything's gonna be stripped off of these. Once again, the toe box is done. The soles are extremely soft. Looks like there's a hole right there that's going to have to be repaired. So yeah, I got some work ahead of me, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on them. And I'll be back with the restoration. And that'll wrap this video up. So I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so here's a little update on where I'm at with these. I went ahead and mixed the paint, the gray. I used the uh, flat white and flat black. Mix them together with the to make the gray here. And I went ahead and painted everything that needs to be painted gray. Including the Nike swooshes here. The side paneling, the heel cup in the back. It's all been painted gray, so that's done. I did the logos. Painted it black. I gotta go back and do the outlines in gray. And the little TM right there. I started on the tongue here on the little the little tag. So that's gonna be finished in a minute. But there's a big problem that I gotta do before I do anything else. And that's fix this gigantic hole right here. You can see I can put my finger through that. It's pretty big, it's like from right here to right here. And it's all the way through the shoe, the leather's ripped and worn away right there. So the way I do my restorations is I do a lot more than just painting the shoes. I also do the major repairs like this. So what I'm gonna use to fix this is I got a piece of leather strip here and I'm gonna glue it to the inside of the shoe. And on the outside, I'm gonna put some liquid leather in there and let it bond together. Not glue it yet, just to, make, to fill in that, that gaping hole that's right there. And this will use to reinforce the back of it so it doesn't come apart or anything. 
And that'll take care of that. And all I got left to do is redo the black paint here. And like I said, finish that in the little tongue logo here. And I just had these outside. I did a 30 minute session in the sun. Just to lighten it up. You can see what it looked like before. It's yellow. You can see the differences in them. And uh, this one, I already did the heel repair on the back. You can see it there where now it has rubber where it didn't have any before. And it's all even. Let me get this out so you can see it better. So there's no more heel, heel drag. The shoe's not crooked anymore. So what, um, this one's already done. You can see it here. And I think I'm going to add another layer to it just to make sure it doesn't wear down anymore. And I had already did it on this one, but the sole has a hole in it right there. And when I had everything laid down, it made an air bubble in it. So I had to take all the rubber off again and re-glue the inside of this so it'll stay down. So now it's down so I can go ahead and lay it down like this. And then reapply the rubber there to add that extra layer of sole there. So I'll go ahead and do that. But I just wanted to show you where I'm at on these. We're about 80% done. <clears throat> and on the inside, I got extra um, insoles because of the one that was in here it had um, it was rotted from like around the toe box area. Like all the, from here on up, it was just a small outline of the insoles, the insides were rotten out. It had like a big gigantic hole in it already. Went ahead and got two replacement insoles that I'm gonna put in here. Cause like I said, it's pretty worn, the insoles. The outsole too is pretty worn. So I added those two insoles in here and it'll give it some, little bit of reinforcement to it. And on the back of the shoe here, the, it feels like there's no padding in it at all. Like it's super flat, so I'm gonna look for some kind of foam sponge to put inside the sock liner there. And that'll be the end of that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish everything up and then I'll be back when uh, everything's finished. All right, so we're back with the finished product. Here they are. Completely restored and customized. Yeah, the shape of the toe box is pretty good now. I whitened out the midsoles here. And repainted everything. Washed the laces, the inside of the shoes, everything's clean, been cleaned up. And of course you can't fix none of this. It's just, when they're getting misshapen like that, there's nothing you can do about it. I tried ironing it up, ironing it, ironing it out and everything and nothing worked. So it's just gonna have to stay like that. Inside the shoe, I did the midsole there. Did all the re-gluing on the toe box here. Fixed the hole that was right there. And now you can't even tell, it was a giant hole right here. And like I said, I used that, I patched it from the inside and then used some leather filler. And then after that, I used the glue and put it back together. Applied the pressure and it stuck. So there's no hole there anymore. On the outsoles, I rebuilt the, the heel area here. I added a bunch of rubber to it, so it's got layers to it now. And of course, it's a... Uh, it's not even because I added extra layers because you know with these shoes when you start wearing them you will get heel drag no matter what so that's what I did there I added extra layers so it'll last a little longer because the heel drag is gonna happen again but like I said with the uh, that much with that many layers on there it'll last a lot longer than it without it we did the tongue here repainted the white gray and the red black 
inside you can see with the original color there is where the red was so here's the other shoe here this one had the same thing had a hole right here that I patched and fixed it white in the midsole repainted the Jumpman Jordan the, the wings logo there there's no Jumpman on the shoe redid the heel on this one we did all the paint on these and that pretty much wrapped it up uh, took a couple weeks to do it because I was doing it on and off taking my time to do it so they're ready to go now so I'm gonna go ahead and wear these over the weekend just to see how they hold up and there should be pictures of these on Instagram if you want to see the before and after again so yeah, that's it's not it's not a bad pickup for the low price that I got them for. Just took a lot of work and get them back to wearable condition. Cause these things were worn into the ground. There's the heat, the soles are still a little soft around this area here, especially right here. It's real soft. But I do got two insoles in there, one for a base, and then I added the regular shoe insole. And I did try them on, they fit, everything's good on them. So I'm gonna wear these out, walk, a, uh, walk across some concrete and stuff and see how they hold up. But I'm pretty confident it's gonna hold up. It's just, like I said, the heels, are, the soles are gonna have heavy use on them. So, yes, yeah, I think they'll hold up and uh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep these or not. But I like them. I like how they turned out. So there you go. The Ying Yang Jordan ones turned into the the shadows, the shadow ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what other deals and pickups I can find online, and maybe do another customize or re restoration. So I'll catch you on the next 